and today I have another story for you guys. So I wrote this one actually yesterday and I thought I would share it with you guys. So this is going to be one of the read alongs so I'm going to turn the camera around. Oh, and also the story is called Cat in a Box. And it's a little cringy but maybe you'll like it. So let's begin. One day at the Telus School of Arts, Miss Rena heard a knock at her classroom door. Who's there? Miss Rena calls. There is no answer, so Miss Rena gets up and answers the door. There at her feet is a small brown box sitting on the floor. Excuse me, Miss Rena calls. Who left this box here? There is no response, so Miss Rena stoops and picks up the box. Carefully, she lifts up the lid and peers inside. Sitting inside is a mostly white cat with a bit of gray on his head like a hat. Well, hello, Miss Rena exclaims in surprise. A pleasure to meet you, the cat responds, sorry to show up out of the blue. At first, Miss Rena is shocked. She cannot believe her ears. You can talk? Miss Rena exclaims. Yes, yes indeed, says the cat. Now let's see. Oh yes, food. That's what I need. Quickly and carefully, Miss Rena helps the cat out of the box. As she first guessed, he is mostly white and has no socks. What will you eat? Miss Rena inquires. I'll take what you give, says the cat. I need food to live. So away goes Miss Raina to fetch some food. Perhaps a can of tuna would be good. Will you take tuna? Miss Raina asks. Tuna would be a fine dinner, says the cat thoughtfully. It'll make me feel like a winner. Miss Raina opens the tuna can and empties the contents onto a plate. So, why were you in a box? Miss Raina inquires. You ask why I was in a box, the cat begins. Well, you see, I had a bet with a fox. A fox? Miss Raina exclaims. Now that's just crazy. You may call me crazy, the cat says, but I assure you, my mind is not hazy. So, what was the bet? Miss Raina asks. Ah, so you see, the cat says, I cannot tell you a thing. It just cannot be. You are lucky to have found me and not the others. I am great at caring for animals, Miss Rena comments. I know you will handle me with great care, says the cat. Now that I have eaten, would you mind brushing my hair? So away goes Miss Rena to fetch a brush. When she returns, she finds the cat has gotten the TV remote. I thought I would watch a show, explains the cat. I would pay you, but I've got no dough. That's not a problem. Watch what you want, Miss Rena says. Thank you, my dear, the cat says with a nod. I can use a remote, don't you fear. As the cat watches TV, Miss Raina brushes his hair. Ah, yes, that is sweet, the cat says with a purr. Being here is such a treat. After watching a few shows, the cat grew tired. Do you have a place for me to lay? The cat asks with a yawn. I really do wish to stay. So Miss Raina fetches a bed and lays it near her desk. This is a fine bed comments the cat. I will rest my head. Sleep well, Miss Raina whispers. The end. Okay, so we got through that. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Bye.